Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? I'm super excited to show you how to use the ChatGPT image generator to create a complete AI animation with consistent characters and scenes. ChatGPT is amazing at generating illustrations specifically for character stories. And I'll show you how to combine it with other AI tools to create these talk and expressive characters for your AI stories. How can that girl surpass my beauty? Mirror, you must be mistaken. And I'll show how you can create your characters with your own unique art style instead of just copying the same boring AI characters that everybody else already has. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide for you to follow along to. And I'll be animating the most iconic scene from the original Snow White story where the queen is asking the magical mirror who's the most beautiful person in all the land. And unfortunately for the queen, it's not her. So we could go and find the original book of Snow White and figure out what the dialogue scene looks like. But I'm actually just going to go into ChatGPT since we're going to be using it to make images anyways. Write me a dialogue scene between the evil queen and the magic mirror from Snow White. It's just got the dialogue between the queen and the magic mirror. What I'm going to do is start creating the images for the animation. The first one we'll do is Snow White. I think a prompt like this will work. We asked it to create an image of Snow White based on the original story. She has pale skin, red lips, and dark hair. And uh, I'm going to do this in a 3D fairy tale. Let's see if this will actually work. A lot of the times ChatGPT uh, censors the images based on copyright. All right, it looks like ChatGPT is giving us some problems here with uh, violating the content policies. This is pretty annoying because Snow White isn't actually copyrighted by anybody. It's public domain. Okay, so I had to play around with ChatGPT a bit more. This time I changed the clothing. So I specifically told ChatGPT to give her red and white clothing with a white ribbon in her hair. And... Finally, we're able to generate the image. So it looks like you had to change the clothing a little bit so it doesn't keep thinking that I'm trying to, you know, take Disney's image of Snow White. Now, what we're actually going to do is download this image and we'll upload it into ChatGPT again. And we'll ask it to actually create this image but seen from a different camera angle. Create an image of this scene, seen from a bird's eye view overhead shot 3d animation style this is one of the most powerful features of ChatGPT. it's able to recreate images from a bunch of different camera angles keeping everything intact the character still looks pretty much the same and i also generated another image of her surrounded by some more animals after recording this i realized that i really don't like the way this character looks it's super childish and Definitely not something I'd watch myself. So I went back and reworked my character. This time using a different prompt. Specifically, I asked for a young woman with elegant features. And I also told the chat GPT to make it in a medieval dark fantasy style. And it creates a much more mature looking character, which makes more sense for the animation. And the visual style is also much more in line with what I had envisioned to begin with. So. Once I've got this image of a character generated, just like before, I'll go ahead and download the character and I'll upload it as a reference image back into ChatGPT. Then inside the prompt box, I can ask for it to create a new image for this character. Again, make sure you specifically tell it to create a horizontal landscape image. Otherwise, it might give you something that's vertical and portrait. And also make the character walk through a swamp while holding onto a torch. And it'll be in a 3D fantasy animation style. And it'll create a new image of the character in the exact way that I asked for it to. It's definitely worth spending the little bit of extra time to make sure that the visuals actually match the style that you're going for. I'm really happy with the way these images turned out. And I think this makes much more sense for my animation. Let me explain this prompting process a bit more. Let's say I've got this image of a character. I can upload this as a reference image into ChatGPT and tell it to generate this character riding on top of a horse, for example. And it'll produce a new image of the same exact character. 
So using this exact image, I can tell ChatGPT to generate a new image, but this time looking at the character from behind. And if you keep iterating like this, you can get unlimited images of your character seen from any direction. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more in-depth AI animation guides just like this one. I also use this exact same process to create images of other characters. So here's one of the queen uh, who's talking to the magical mirror. So we can get a closer shot of her face. And we can also ask ChatGPT to give us a different camera angle, like a side profile shot. I also generated an image taken from behind of the queen looking into a magical mirror. And also an image of just a mirror by itself. So I'll be using all of these later on to create our animation. So ChatGPT is a little bit slower than other image generators like Midjourney, but I think the quality of results makes it worth it. One issue with the images we've created from ChatGPT is that it's not quite the right aspect ratio for a widescreen animation. So these are actually three to two aspect ratio images and we want it to be a little bit wider to actually take up the full screen when we make a video of it. What I'll do is use this free website called Recraft AI. Let's create a new project. And inside here, we can resize the images to make them wider. So let's drag in the image of our queen. What we need to do is go to insert and click on the frame option right here. Let's drag a frame onto here. And these purple borders around the original images, how we're gonna expand the size of the picture. So we need to click on frame again. So make sure you actually click on this frame to select it. You can enter a description for how to expand the image, but I'm just going to go straight ahead and hit recraft frame. And what this will do is fill in the borders of our original image. So it's a widescreen photo. Just like this, it looks like you added in uh, some stone walls to the side. I'm not sure if I want that, but for now it's okay. So once that's done, let's go ahead, uh, export the image so we can download it like this. Let me emphasize again why it's important for you to expand the images like I just showed. I made this mistake myself. If you just animate the images directly from ChatGPT without expanding them, you get stuff like this. Basically, the borders of the image aren't going to be wide enough to fill up a normal widescreen. And you can end up wasting a lot of time this way. I've got all the images of my characters generated now. So the story is ready to be animated. What I need to do is use a different AI to actually turn these videos into talking characters. Since there's going to be a lot of dialogue in my specific animation, I'm going to use a tool called Hedra AI, which from what I've seen is one of the best at animating talking AI characters for you. So let's go to the video tab and let's take a quick look at what I've already generated using this. You are the fairest, my beautiful queen. So to actually animate our character speaking, let's go to this start frame button and upload the image of our queen. And we also need to add in some audio for the lip sync. Let's click on this. Uh, we'll actually generate speech inside Hedra. And there's a list of voices we can choose from. So let's take a look at all these voices. Hedra actually doesn't have that many female voices. It's mostly male from what I've seen. Let's see if we can find something that fits. I found this one called Lily. I have never been hurt by anything I didn't say. I think it'll work okay. Um, so let's try this. And inside the speech for what we want the character to say, we'll go back to the dialogue that we generated inside ChatGPT. Let's copy that. Paste it in a Hedra. Um, actually, we'll make it say magic mirror on the wall. I think that's closer to the original story. And let's take a preview of what the audio sounds like. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? The voice is a little squeakier than what I want. I can, I'll go back and change it later. But for now, let's just add this to the video. And then there's a bunch of different models we can choose from. So by default, I'm using the Hedra Character 3 model. This is their lip sync uh, character generation, which is going to work perfectly. And then we'll add in a prompt. So let's say she has an evil grin on her face. This will give the AI some more hints for what we want the video to look like. And then let's go ahead and generate this character. 
Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? I mean, look at it. It's incredibly, incredibly expressive. You can see the camera is zooming in a little bit also, so there's some motion in the background. I think Hydra, from what I've seen, is the best at the lip sync and character animations, especially if you want them to be expressive. The great thing about Hydra AI is that it works with all sorts of different characters. I've got this ghostly looking face that's not really attached to a body and doesn't really look human. And it's still able to generate him speaking accurately. White with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony is a thousand times fairer than you. You can also switch up the different camera angle. I generated a talking character for a side profile of the queen, and Hydra is able to make it with no problem at all. What treachery is this? How can that girl surpass my beauty? Mirror, you must be mistaken. Now, finally, I also need a few more background videos of just scenes of Snow White by herself. So we have a bunch of different models to choose from. One of them is the Hydra character model. We also have some video models, including clean, uh, the Google video model and Minimax. So let's try actually generating a background video for our character by using the clean model. I'll take this start frame and let's upload this image of Snow White. Um, we'll make it a 10 second video actually. She looks around happily, something like that. Um, let's generate the video. We can generate background animations like this one inside Hydra AI. But if you're going to use another AI video model like Kling, I'd recommend just going directly to the Kling website. For the rest of the non-dialogue scenes, I think Kling AI is a great option to animate them. So if we go and head into Kling, we'll find this video generation uh, tab on the left. Once we're in here, we want to go to the image to video. So what we're going to do is upload an image just like we did before. I'm just going to put in the one we created earlier of her walking through a swamp. And then if we scroll down, we can enter a prompt which describes the motion we want to happen. And so I'll put in a prompt like she struggles and stumbles as she runs through the swamp. We can choose between a five or 10 second video down here. Let's make it 10 seconds. Now there's a couple different AI models you can use. So I have it default set on the clean 1.6 model. There's also a newer clean 2.0 model that creates a much more cinematic looking video, although it is much more expensive to use. So let's do a comparison between them. First, I'll start with just the clean 1.6 model. As you can see, this costs 70 credits to generate the video. Let's go ahead and do that. Once that's finished, we can take a look. Um, it doesn't really actually follow my prompt. She kind of looks around, speaks a little bit, but not really running or stumbling around. I also created the same video using the new clean 2.0 model, um, which you can see right here. So let's take a look. And it's definitely got a lot more dynamic action. Um, I don't know if this is super realistic or not. She's kind of splashing around, but you definitely see her struggling and stumbling more. So it follows the prompt much more closely. There's a lot more motion. Here's another example. This time I want to show her flying on a dragon. So using the older cling 1.6 model, as you can see right there. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's like an extra wing that appears on the back. Like it's, uh, like it's a tail on her or something like that right there. The motion is also kind of slow. I also created this video using the new clean 2.0 model. I mean, the motion is way better. Um, she's speeding along. We're following her as she, you know, speeds through the clouds and the forest. And so it's, it's a much more dynamic and faster video. However, the main thing with the clean 2.0 model, let's see if we can select it right here, is that it's going to cost 200 credits. While if we use the clean 1.6 model, it costs 70 credits. And so the clean 2.0 model is three times as expensive. The results are better for the clean 2.0 model, but for simpler animations, I'd recommend just sticking with the clean 1.6 model. When it comes to writing the prompts, be direct with how you describe what's happening in the video. What you want to write is what you see and how you're seeing it. 
For example, she hugs the creature and smiles. I'm just directly telling the AI what the character should be doing. Here's another example of uh, she holds up the glowing creature with a gentle smile. Although you can add in some keywords like gentle, for example, and that can also help enhance the motions. You can also add in some camera movement in the prompt, which I think is the most effective way of doing it. So for example, I put in rotating lens and the camera rotates around this character in a circular fashion. If you need a guide to writing the best prompts for AI videos, I'll put a link to a prompt tutorial in the description. It is worth noting that Kling also does have a lip sync feature which can help you create talking characters if you want. So if we go to the bottom left here, there's a lip sync button and we can upload a video of our own to add the lip sync to. So what I've done is uploaded this video I generated of a queen of her still headshot. And so let's add some audio to it and see what it looks like. Now to adding the audio for lip sync, we can go right here. We'll upload a local audio file that I've already generated. And then if we generate this, we can see what it looks like and compare it to the Hydra AI's lip sync. She has stolen what is mine by right. Very well. If beauty makes a queen, then death shall make me fairest. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the main thing I think it's missing is more expressive head movements. The lips look pretty accurate to me, but her head is kind of perfectly still. So I also created uh, a version of this inside Hydra AI, which I showed earlier for the talking characters. Um, let's see if we can play this. She has stolen what is mine by right. Very well. If beauty makes a queen, then death shall make me fairest. Yeah, so you can see that there's way more head movement right there. The lips are more expressive, the eyes are more expressive. So I think for the lip sync, while you can't do it inside Kling, I'd recommend using Hydra if you have the budget for it because it's going to create something that's way more dynamic. I've got all the video scenes from my animation completed. With all the talking characters and background shots, Here's what it all looks like when combined into a completed animation. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? You, my queen, are fair. It is true. Yet snow white, with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony, is a thousand times fairer than you. What treachery is this? How can that girl surpass my beauty? Mirror, you must be mistaken. I dare speak only the truth, my queen. Snow White's beauty outshines even yours. ChatGPT is incredible at creating these character stories, but there's a wide variety of other different use cases you can use its image generator for. If you want to learn about what other ways you can use a ChatGPT image generator, go watch this guide right here.